Sox, the last Red Sox player to enter a game as a pinch hitter and get four RBIs and two or fewer at bats. Mike Grand Slam on the 11th of September 2013 against the Rays. Pitch Grand Slam, right? Center field. Steve Pierce takes a pass ball strike. Nation stats for that note. It's a good note. Jeff Keller making his 43rd appearance is 3-1. 268 is earned on average. Opponents hitting 225. Uh, 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 Pizzas for $19.40. It says rejoice in the Lord always. Oh boy. And I will say it again, rejoice. Now the very fact that he repeats that should let us know that there's a, uh, there's a need to call forth a spirit of being proactive. Because if, we are, if you're reactive in our world today, there's not a lot of source of joy. No. My God. I feel sorry for people who don't know the Lord and don't have that hope. No. Hey, where are you going to find hope in this world? You wonder why people fall into the power of, of substance abuse and, and so many things, just chasing that impossible dream of, I've got to find some kind of meaning, some kind of hope, something out of this life. And then you got the devil trampling on their minds and constantly driving them toward the wrong things, blinding them to the, go to the gospel. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, reach those that are yours in this hour. We, we, we ain't seen nothing yet. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have to say it. But I'll tell you, God has better for his people. And if we are just going to float through life and expect good things to happen, we're going to be disappointed. I believe with all my heart there's bondages, there's ways of thinking and living that bring us into bad places. And every single one of our lives that God wants to put his finger, shine his light on, not with condemnation, but with love and mercy. I mean, I see them in me. I see patterns of thinking that cause me to react to certain things in certain ways. And I have to stop and shake my head at myself. I know that's not right. Lord, you, you're going to have to help me with this. But it all, it all comes back to the way I've learned to think. But I'll tell you, we can make a choice. We can say, I'm going to rejoice. Now, you know, some, many of you, or some of you at least, are old enough to remember the, was it a song and a, and a saying at least, don't worry, be happy. I say, how old you are. Some of you are old enough to remember that. But like, you know, that sounds good, but based on what? Just, just pretend everything's fine. I'll tell you, we have the hope of our hopes in Jesus Christ. We have a reason that's outside of ourselves, beyond our, uh, the need of our ability, where we can look and say, Lord, you are the God of heaven. You are the Lord of the universe. You have provided a perfect way, a perfect hope that I can, I can stake my claim to because of your mercy for me. Uh. And I don't care what happens in this life, there's always a cause for people to change their lives. Eight volts. It was 95. Tires are kind of getting worn out. I'm going to make a choice to say, Lord, you are the God of heaven. You are the Lord of heaven. You are the Lord of heaven. I know where this is going. Now I love you, and I'm trusting in you this day. Would that make a difference? Yeah. But do you see the proactive stance that he's having to take here? Paul didn't have much to rejoice in sitting there in, in prison in Rome. In the natural, but all his vision was so far beyond that that he could. It didn't matter where he was. It didn't matter his circumstances. It didn't matter if he was in the Philippian jail. Was it, was it Paul and Silas? Didn't matter if they were there and, and beaten and, and chained up and in, in the end of prison. They could still make a choice to say, I'm going to praise God. I'm going to rejoice. We're going to sing. And I'll tell you what, God heard that, didn't he? 
And he turned that he turned that defeat into a great victory and saved that whole jailer's family. Praise God. Wanna be something one day to meet them? Hey, yes. I'm the jailer that, <laughs> that was in charge of Paul. Thank God for what he did. I'm here because some some faithful servants of God were willing to praise me, praise praise the Lord rather. Here. In, in terrible circumstances, and God honors their faith. Up. And I, I heard the gospel, and I'm here. You should help. <laughs> Look at my family, my daughter, my son, my wife. Uh, Praise God. Yeah. Great mission, or short. Just yeah. shorter in general. Yeah, no missions. Um, this is a pure air got in there. No good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's that's good. Seventy-two over sixty-nine. Barely, barely passes. Leaky between the control grid and the plate. No good.